Hey everyone, welcome at Dreamscape. Today, we're going to show you how to create stunning images with just a few simple clicks with Google Colab. And the best part is that you don't even need an expensive GPU to do it. First off, click on the link in the description below to access the Google Colab notebook. You'll notice that there are three main steps. If you're already signed into your Google account, just hit open with Google Collaboration. We'll start by focusing on step one. If you don't have any specific requirements, just hit the play button and let the process run. Depending on your internet speed and models, it should take anywhere from three to 10 minutes. Sit back and relax, and soon enough, you'll see a public URL Gradio link. Congratulations. You're now ready to use Stable Diffusion. Now, let's generate your first image. There are two easy ways to do this. Option 1. Go to civitai.com and copy prompts from an image you like. Just click on the Copy Generation Data button, return to Stable Diffusion and paste it into the prompt box. Just press the little arrow icon next to the Generate button. Stable Diffusion will automatically identify the format and fill in all the settings for you. One little remark, some prompt has the high res fix, make sure to uncheck it, as we don't need this phase and it will take longer to render. Hey there, friend. Welcome to Dreamscape. Photorealistic images in just three easy steps using Google Collab. Whether you're a For more experienced users who have a library of LoRa, VAE, and embeddings, simply create three distinct folders. When moving on to step two, please remember to stop the first cell before proceeding. If you want, you can erase the code to make it easier to read. Then, mount your drive by clicking the play button. You will be asked to grant permission access. Finally, onto phase three, open the folder icon located on the left panel. You should see the root structure and locate the LoRa folder. Click on copy path and then paste it into the designated field as shown on the screen. Be mindful to keep the little dot, slash, and apostrophe. If you create the same folders as mine, you won't need to make any changes. Finally, press the play button and wait until you reach the Gradio URL. Your entire library will be downloaded and ready to use in no time. There you go. You are now all set to create amazing images. If this video was helpful, don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe, as I will soon show you other secrets, tips and tricks about stable diffusion.